everybody, it's Kevin here at Dryport Marine. Hey, real excited today. We're gonna to bring you this brand new 2024 Premier. This is the 230 Solaris RL for rear lounge bed. So we'll show you that in just a second. Real quick before we begin our walk around, some quick specs on the boat. Uh, 24 feet, four inches is your overall length. Eight foot, six inch beam. Does have a 47 gallon fuel capacity, a person capacity of 15 and a max horsepower of 250 on this particular boat. Color-wise, obviously we're looking at the red panel on top, black panel on bottom. Does have the black hammered rails as well. And then we also did the 3M Vantage tube film. And then we did this in the carbon fiber black. Kind of see the carbon fiber there. And it does have the pontoon guard on there. It's that rubber strip that goes down the side to protect it from dock rash. So a uh, really good looking color scheme on this boat. Obviously, the electric power Benemy top is standard for 2024. The option for a couple hundred dollars is to do this extension. So this extension will just roll back up and zip up into that boot right there. So quick, easy to deploy on this one. So works out really nice for those kind of people that need a little bit of extra shade while you're coving. Uh, this is going to give it to you. So standard on this Solaris model boats is the patented Ricochet Ladder from Premier. If you're not familiar, as you take off, the water pressure pushes on it and it automatically goes up by itself. So really cool stuff there. This does have the PTX package, the PTX 28. Uh, as you can see, it's a uniquely shaped center tube. Uh, that shape itself, along with the lifting strakes there and there, that's going to allow the boat to bank into the turns as you turn left, as you turn right. So this boat's gonna handle more like a sport boat than it is a pontoon boat. So if you're into that water sports, if you're into that sports car type of drive, this boat's going to give it to you. Optional ski tow we did, we did the lighted version. Uh, kind of hard to see, I got the lights on, but this whole glass panel lights up at night. Uh, nice tall ski tow, it is ready to pull tubes. Speakers out the back, so this boat will come standard with six speakers in there. We did upgrade the audio system to the JL Audio. Uh, these are the M6 speakers, which are the nicest ones that JL makes. Uh, so we do have that quick, easy battery selector switch on this boat. Uh, the standard on the Solaris model will be a dual battery system, um, and that's going to be your on-off selector switch. A little cell phone pocket right there, which is pretty cool. So, all right. So we'll kind of walk around this way, take another look. Really sharp-looking boat, color scheme-wise. Definitely going to stand out on the lake. <clears throat> standard corner castings on all premieres, flip-up cleats. LED dock lights, LED nav lights. So you're gonna have all that on there. Uh, they've taken the nose cones, recessed them back so you can't hit them on a dock and permanently damage them. One little thing too I could tell you on premieres, guys, as you look at other boats, the spray deflectors. This sounds so silly. You can see how that spray deflector is angled downward. So it's gonna shoot the water down. The ones on the market that angle out and just shoot the water out, on a windy day, that mist goes back and gets everybody in the back of the boat wet. That's not going to happen with this because it's angled downwards, because it's shooting down. Even on a windy day, it's going to keep everybody dry in the boat. New for 2024, the clear see-through front door, which I absolutely love. Probably my favorite feature on the boat. All right, guys, one more kind of look at this, then we'll hop in. Let's take a closer look at this one. All right, guys, here, here we are inside the 2024 Premier again. This is the 230 Solaris RL. Uh, real quick before we begin our walkthrough of the inside, what we're looking at here color-wise, this is the mountain gray interior, and this is the carbon accent on the seats here. I'll get you a close-up view of that. So you kind of see the carbon accent there. So um, <clears throat> all new for 2024 was the couch design, new helm, new center tube package. So this was all pretty much all new. Um, what you're getting is double the amount of cup holders. There's four now per each couch. USB power, deeper pockets to get those big Yeti cups in, a better hinge system on the seats, 20% more storage depth, and we have that. They move the audio speakers from the floor by your toes up closer to your ears, so better audio experience there as well too. Um, the in-floor ski locker, they doubled in size. It's over two and a half feet wide, nine feet long bigger door so now you're able to get that knee board those skis the wakeboards the pool noodles everything that you want to be able to fit in there even a misbehaving child you can fit in that ski locker without a doubt all new driver's helm <clears throat> so 
raised helm driver's going to sit up which is good this one has the optional uh, dual simrad screen so it's standard with one screen optional for two navigation engine data is what you're going to see on that um, upgraded stereo in this boat this has got the jl audio this is the media master 105 uh, you'll also have JL Audio M6 speakers with an 8-channel amp in this boat, along with a subwoofer. Uh, this thing is kicking. Uh, so plenty of audio power. You'll also have zone control on here as well. So if I want to turn the speakers louder in the bow versus in the back, I can control each zone, the front, the back, and the middle, which is, which is really good. Uh, upgraded bolster driver seat. So if the captain wants to stand and drive or sit up higher and drive, you're able to do that. Uh, wireless cell phone charger right there refrigerated cup holder for the driver if you're the driver that usually has more than one drink while you're driving that's okay we got extra cup holders down here uh, power steering is what that is right there rgb light control if you see that speaker down there kind of hard to see but i can change the color of those lights with that control right there so this boat will have rgb lights in all six speakers it will have RGB lights underneath the edging of the couches, RGB lights in that ski toe as well too, if you watched the beginning of this video. Speaker caddy for the co-captain there, some cup holders and speaker. This is the RL part. This is the rear lounge we were talking about. And this is unique because it's got a dual back. So it's a dual swing. So what happens here? Well, first off, before we begin that, you do have storage, it just picks up storage here, lots of deep storage, it's all hinged. And then when it's time to use it, you just simply lift up. It will click once, lift up again. It will click all the way down. Now, here's where it gets cool. So we're gonna come back here. Obviously we have the bench seat. If we wanna sit backwards, we are able to do that. Or I can click it back one time. Now I got a forward facing lounge. So if I wanna drive while we're underway, if I wanna look forward and do that, I can do that. But hey, Kevin, we're out in the cove, we're sunning, or we wanna lay down all the way, boom. There you go, it's pretty much the size of a queen size bed. But then you're like, well, Kevin, I wanna see what's going on behind the boat. Not a problem. There we go, click that one up. And now you got a rear facing lounge. So, and then when you're done with it all, just like it was when we started, if you're in those moments where like, hey, Kevin, we got a lot of people on the boat. Here's a bench right there. You can fit three people there. There's another bench there. So now you got a couch system that you can fit six people on, which is really cool. Now, the really unique thing about this, the Premier did this, they gave you these chains back here to go across from the ski toe to there. So usually it's illegal to ride back here unless you have those chains. So because you have those chains, this is completely legal to ride in. So really good setup there. Plenty of cup holders, dry storage with USB. If you wanna put your cell phone in there and charge it. So, and again, we kind of talked about this while we were on the outside of the boat, but this Benemy extension, when you go to take it down just a couple minutes, it just rolls up and will zip up into this mesh liner up here. So quick, easy to deploy, works out really, really well. So awesome guys, if you have any questions, this is gonna be a great boat for somebody. Give us a call, we'd love to help you out. Have a good day, see ya.